hello guys let me just do some stuff here please okay so hello guys this is uh, sorry for that just give me a second here John Dragon Tamer sorry for that guys and right now I'm gonna show you how to convert a QuickTime file so it's like these movies time thing into YouTube I mean sorry for that iTunes and as you can see here the here it is John Dragon Tamer the black one and as you see and what I wanted to do is that sometimes I can't film all the time with my screen flow and uh, my camera well I'm gonna use my iPhone now so yeah but the thing is I didn't know how to do it until until now so instead of doing this again I'm just gonna show you with this one here so what you want to do is get your QuickTime file open it like literally just open a literal file opening yeah sorry for this guys my computer is fucking slow okay so first what you want to do is open it so here it is let's see how it is okay it's already shaded as always okay so what you want to do is go shut fucking it what the hell dumbass okay so uh, you click on it you go to file, then you go to, and then there's this thing, like new movie and shit. And then there's export, so what you want to do is export to. You go to iTunes. You go to iTunes, sorry for that. And then save your movie to iTunes. Now here there is the, okay it's not available for the Mac, but the available for iPad, iPhone 4, and Apple TV, and iPod and iPhone. So. Well, I've got this one, so I'm going to use this here. And then share. And then it's going to show this, export progress. And if it's a really small file, it shouldn't really take long. Mine's going to take about 10 seconds, as you just saw. It's already done. Then you can just quit quick t uh, time file. Quick time. Let me just put these back in place here. Go here, and then here it is. See? Well, thanks very much for watching. This is John Ringy Termer out.